Lord Alan Sugar Apprentice. The, uh, a lot of people think that, but no, it's just my name. Okay. And I'm the real one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are at Formnex in Frankfurt again with Arthur here from iFactory. Yes, iFactory 3D. iFactory 3D. Whereabouts are you guys based? We're based in Germany, Dusseldorf. Amazing, amazing. So I'm just going to say how it is. I have a Creality CR30 and it's one of the most terrible printers that I own. What makes yours different? So first of all, let me ask, uh, first of all, say that we started in 2018 we didn't copy Creality CR30. So having said that, we started as well a week before Creality on Kickstarter. So what makes us different? Well, we focus actually maybe on the different group. We focus on the professionals. That's why we have implemented like the best of the best components that you can have for a certain price range. And if you want, I can tell you a bit more about that. Please do. I can see the linear rails. I see Hermera. Um, you've got your designer here as well, which is great to meet you as well. Um, so how does it, where did this all start from? Well, it started with Martin and here's the word to you. Yeah, so I started in 2018 building the first belt printer for my own because we needed a lot of printed parts. And so we made a belt printer and printed several hundred copies of the same piece that we needed. I saw that and I said, Martin, it looks like a business to me. And Martin said, yeah, yeah, okay. And in the end, we kept, kept on developing that over the last three years. And then uh, in COVID, uh, we saw that, well, 3D printing is going through the roof. And we said, okay, Martin, if you don't do it now, then never. And then we started iFactory 3D last year. So you're essentially then the Steve Jobs of 3D printing, right? And you're the Wozniak. Well, you put us in a very big shoes. Uh, well, it's impressive, let's be fair. So what's the spec on this? Right. So over here, um, basically, you have three sets of Hyven uh, linear rails. We have a duet board inside. We have Raspberry Pi 4 in here. We have a totally capacitive touch interface. Then, in order to print well constantly or con and continuously, we have an E3D Himera paired with the Zodiac um, uh, nozzle. Yep. And then our specialty are the belts. So things stick very well on the belt. We have a hot zone and a cold zone. And over here, we have a, like a small secret on the Formex. We have a prototype of, on, uh, on the left side to me. And that's another belt. It's, it's a belt that is made just of one single piece. And it's kind of uh, smooth. And the way, the, way um, uh, the, the, the surface on the bottom looks like, it's kind of uh, uh, flatter than this one doesn't have okay. doesn't yeah. have some oh wow yeah okay that's really nice yeah that's really nice and both belts work very well and are very, quite durable yep and the other thing is what makes this different from any other um, belt printers on the market reliability that's it basically over the last year on the being in the market we have learned that people want to have a production machine having a production machine means having a reliable machine and this is what and uh, why we have dedicated a lot of time. We have not only Martin work on that, but as well an uh, engineer originally from Ultimaker with 20 years experience in that. We had a bunch of people being involved into this and we made, to my opinion, my opinion, the world's best belt printer ever created. Amazing. And I noticed there's a camera system on this as well. Actually, we have a camera on this machine already and Another one to come next year for the error detection system printer guard. Basically, the user can monitor his prints from the distance, and an AI system will tell the user, well, well, there's an issue or not, and you maybe have to do something. That's amazing. So what's the retail price on this? So that one starts for 2,500 euro. With the enclosure, with the other belt, that's going to be for 3,000 euro. Amazing, amazing. So what can you print on this? PLA, ABS, Peak? Not, yeah. Okay, no, but you're working on it. It does not have a heated chamber. We have a, a printer in uh, development that has a, a heated chamber and um, is also closed with a curtain. And uh, it also has two print heads, so it's a IDEX belt printer. Oh, Whoa. news just in, news just in here. Well, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, so tell me a little bit about the auto leveling sensor. Well, let me give the word to the developer of that. Yeah, so we wanted to make the leveling process much easier for the belt printer. So here now you have menus that guide you through the process. You can of course make the normal method with the paper, but we also included a uh, sensor. It's an IR sensor 
uh, that senses the distance to the uh, bed and does an automatic leveling uh, uh, sequence. Yeah. And it uh, also compensates for the uh, bed being not even. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. Well done, well done. Cool, see you amazing. Arthur, thank you so much for your time. Best of luck for the future. You're welcome. Bye.